If you're on the fence about becoming a data analyst, then this video is for you. By the end, you'll have the clarity you need to make the best decision for your future, whether that's diving into a rewarding career or realizing it might not be the right fit for you. Either way, you don't want to waste years in a job that drains you or miss out on a potentially life-changing opportunity. So let's break down the pros and cons and everything in between so you can confidently choose a path that's right for you. We're going to explore the ins and outs of being a data analyst from the skills you need to the potential paycheck waiting for you at the end of the Excel rainbow. So if you're ready to dive into the world of data analysis, smash that like button. It helps more people find this video and lets me know that you want me to make more content like this. So first of all, what exactly does a data analyst do? Well, imagine you're a detective, but instead of solving crimes, you're solving business mysteries. Your weapons, data, algorithms, and a keen eye for patterns. Data analysts are the Sherlock Holmes of the business world, minus the funny hat and pipe. They collect data, analyze it, and use their findings to help companies make better decisions. And it's kind of like being a fortune teller, but with actual facts instead of a crystal ball. Now you might be thinking, Shane, that sounds as boring as watching paint dry. Well, not so fast. Imagine being the person who discovers a trend that saves a company millions of dollars, or the genius who figures out why customers are leaving faster than rats on a sinking ship. That's the power of data analysis. It's not just about crunching numbers, it's about telling stories with data. And let me tell you, some of these stories can be more dramatic than a 90 day fiance episode. And before we dive into the skills, I wanna mention something that might help you in your remote job search. I've created a 30 day remote job landing challenge, and it's basically a set of daily actions that's designed to improve your chances of landing a remote position. And it's completely free. Each day, you'll tackle one aspect of the job search process, from refining your resume to preparing for virtual interviews. And the only thing that I ask is if it helps you or you're able to land a remote job, just leave a comment on my YouTube channel. So yeah, that'll be down in the description and the pinned comment below, so check it out. Now let's talk about the skills you need to become a data analysis wizard. First off, you need to be comfortable with numbers. If the sight of a math equation makes you want to run for the hills, it might not be your jam. But don't worry, you don't need to be a math prodigy. Basic statistics and algebra will do the trick. Next, you need to be best friends with data manipulation tools. Excel is your bread and butter, but SQL is where the real magic happens. Learning SQL is like learning to speak the language of databases. And trust me, once you master it, you will feel like a data whisperer. Now, programming languages such as Python or R are also must-haves in your toolkit. They're kind of like the Swiss army knives of data analysis. With these bad boys, you can slice and dice data faster than a ninja in a fruit market. But here's the kicker. Technical skills are only half the battle. You also need to be a master communicator because what good is uncovering a mind-blowing insight if you can't explain them to the higher ups? It's like if you discovered the cure for baldness, but you didn't know how to speak or write what you found. Useless. All right, let's get real for a minute. Let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly of being a data analyst. Because being a data analyst isn't all rainbows and unicorns. It's time for some tough love. Let's start with the good stuff. First off, the pay isn't too shabby. According to Glassdoor, the average base salary for data analysts in the US is around $69,000 a year. And that's at the entry level. And that's not bad for playing with numbers all day. Plus, there's a ton of demand for data analysts. Companies are practically throwing job offers at skilled analysts like free samples at Costco. And the cherry on top, many data analyst roles can be done remotely. Pajamas as your work uniform? Yes, please. But now let's talk about the not so glamorous side. Data can be messy. And I'm not talking about a little dust here and there. I'm talking about data so disorganized that it makes a teenager's bedroom look like a Marie Kondo masterpiece. Cleaning and preparing data can be tedious and time consuming. It's like being a digital janitor sometimes. And another downside, the pressure can be intense. When big decisions are riding on your analysis, the stress can make you feel like you're diffusing a bomb in an action movie. And let's not forget about the constant need to keep up with new tools and technologies. The learning never stops in this field. It's like trying to hit a moving target while riding a unicycle. Challenging? Yes. Impossible? Well, not if you're committed. Now, by the way, if you know someone who's considering a career in data analysis, make sure to share this video with them. They'll thank you later. Additionally, getting a job in data analysis used to be incredibly easy. They basically take anybody who has a pulse. These days, it can be more challenging to get a job, especially at the entry level. However, there's still a massive amount of demand for people who are good and great at data analysis. And we'll get into that a little bit later. But number four, let's talk about how to break into the field. First things first, education. Many data analysis have a degree in fields like statistics, computer science, or economics. But here's the secret sauce. You don't always need a fancy degree. I've seen many people transition into data analysis from the most unexpected backgrounds. I even knew a guy who went from being a professional juggler to a data analyst. And the key here is to focus on building your skills. Online courses are going to be your best friend here. Platforms like Coursera, edX, and Udacity offer fantastic data analysis courses. And some of them are even free. So it's kind of like an all you can learn buffet. For instance, probably the most recommended resource for total beginners on getting into data analysis is going to be the Google Professional Data Analytics Certificate. And 
but this is a certificate that I've covered on the channel and just about every other data analyst or tech YouTuber has covered. And there's a reason for that because it's really, really good. In fact, I believe it's the highest rated Google professional certificate that they offer. Now, depending on the time of year and a bunch of other factors, you can actually take the certificate for seven days completely free. And if you do have to pay, I believe it's about 40 to $50 per month, but definitely check the price because it can change depending on the time of year. I'll put that down in the description and the pinned comment below. And by the way, there are tons of people who have commented on my channel about how this certificate helped them get a job or how they were just really happy with the certificate in general. And if you are a data analyst or trying to get into data analytics, go ahead and comment below your best tips for getting into it. But next up, after getting that basic education, you want to practice, practice, practice. Find data sets online and start analyzing them. Websites like Kaggle are gold mines for this. It's kind of like a playground for data nerds. So build a portfolio of projects to show off your skills and think of it as a data analysis mixtape. And the next thing is not necessary, but it's kind of like a cheat code and that's networking. So you don't absolutely have to network in order to get a job, but it just makes it 10 times easier. So you might as well do it. So join data science communities on LinkedIn and Reddit, attend virtual meetups and conferences, and you never know your next job opportunity might come from a random conversation in a data science forum. Lastly, don't be afraid to start small. Look for internships or entry-level positions. And even if it's not your dream job, it can be your foot in the door to get into the industry and a great stepping stone for reaching your goals. And remember, every data analyst started somewhere. So even just getting some gigs on a platform like Fiverr or Upwork are really good work opportunities and really good experience. And even if you aren't getting paid, just helping your uncle's business crunch some data and make some good business decisions can really make your resume and portfolio shine. So do whatever you have to do in order to get some experience and make sure you focus on building a great portfolio because in the modern day and age where you don't necessarily have to get a degree and there's a lot of alternative education opportunities for people, your portfolio and your resume is pretty much your only way to showcase that you actually know the skills that you claim that you know. Now let's put our futurist hats on and talk about where this field is heading. Spoiler alert, the future looks brighter than a supernova. Data is the new oil. Companies are collecting more data than ever before and they need skilled analysts to make sense of it all. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack except the haystack is the size of Texas and keeps growing. Now one exciting trend is the rise of big data and machine learning. Data analysts who can work with these technologies are like the rock stars of the data world. Imagine being able to predict customer behavior or spot market trends before they happen. It's kind of like having a crystal ball, but it's scientifically accurate. Another hot area is business intelligence. Companies are hungry for insights that can give them a competitive edge. And if you can turn raw data into actionable strategies, you'll be more in demand than toilet paper during a pandemic. And the integration of data analysis with other fields is also opening up new opportunities. From healthcare to finance to environmental science, every industry needs data analysts. All you have to do is watch the movie Moneyball to know that that's true. In the future, where I see this heading is people are going to be specialized with a particular industry or a specific career type. For instance, there's a huge demand for nurse informatics specialists. These are people who have nursing skills, but they also have data analytics skills at the same time. But here's the kicker. With all the growth comes competition. So to stay ahead, you'll need to keep learning and adapting. And it's kind of like being in a never ending race, but instead of a finish line, there's just more exciting opportunities. So is becoming a data analyst still worth it? Well, if you love solving puzzles, have a knack for numbers, and you don't mind continuing learning, then I would give this one two big thumbs up. So like I said, some actionable advice if you're a complete newbie, check out the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate by clicking the link in the pinned comment and the description down below, and then get started doing some actual projects, right? Build up your portfolio, start using all these tools and showcasing your skills. And then while you're applying to a bunch of companies, start networking. And if you're still on the fence about the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate, I did make an entire video reviewing it, which you can check out by clicking right here.